Well, hello, beautiful friend. It's me, Robin, Robin Hallett, intuitive healer and light sparkler at robinhallett.com. And welcome to another video of love and healing with me. I'm so glad you're here. And I hope the weather in your heart today is wonderful. And if not, we're going to work on that. In today's video, we're going to talk about the negative mind chatter in our minds. I don't know anybody who doesn't have this going on and what we can do about it and how we can move beyond it. And we'll probably do a little meditation at the end, a little healing guided journey together um, as we finish. So the mind, it's such a kooky place to be sometimes, isn't it? We have thoughts all day long, every single day. And so much of the time, those thoughts are against us. They're against our lives. They're against how we're doing. They're against our well-being. The stories that are being perpetuated are not good ones. And we don't always know that that's what's going on. And so a lot of times we just end up believing the story believing it hook line and sinker this is such a challenging thing because the truth is you are not your thoughts you are not your thoughts you are the conscious awareness behind your thoughts but you are not the thoughts themselves so if you've been having thoughts going in your mind about how you're a loser or you're not getting anything done with your life or nobody loves you or you make people miserable. Um, that's something my mother used to say to me on the regular. You're making me miserable. Um, you know, these are just thoughts in our heads and it's up to us whether or not we believe them. If you ever get a thought running in your head, it can feel very challenging to say stop it but that's exactly the practice just to say to yourself stop this is ego this is ego mind this is my suffering mind this is my separated self this is not my essential self the part of me that knows i come from somewhere else i'm connected to the divine i'm connected to spirit i'm connected to a power so much greater than myself and I am okay I am the consciousness behind these wacky thoughts so much of the time you know um, we don't really remember that law of attraction is a real thing you get what you think about what you focus on expands what you carry as a thought becomes a thing we put energy out into the world and not always like if I think I'm a loser I'm gonna turn into one but more like I carry that story about myself and then I get together with you my friend and the whole time we're together my mind is saying you think I'm a loser and I start responding or hiding or shutting down getting smaller and smaller because I think I'm sure that you think I'm a loser. Does that make sense? So we can practice. And one of my longtime teachers and mentors, Louise Hay, I'm sure you know who that is too, would say it's only a thought and a thought can be changed. So let's talk about how to change that thought. Whatever it is that you think, big, small, stories about you, stories about your life, stories about your future. It's a thought and a thought can be changed. You are not stuck with this line of thinking about yourself or your life or what's wrong with you. You're not stuck and you can change. And isn't that exciting and wonderful? Maybe you don't realize it, but right now all you're going off of is a thought. You're putting energy behind it. You're developing momentum behind the story. And like I've already said, we project our thoughts onto other people. So when you and I get together for lunch, I no longer think I'm thinking thoughts about myself. I'm making the story up that you are thinking these things about me. 
So for every time you are able to catch that and remember Robin saying to you, it's only a thought and a thought can be changed. And this is not your essential self. This is your um, ego self. The Course in Miracles calls this our ego self, our separated self, and many spiritual texts teach about ego. Um, but this is the part of us that is not interested in awakening and remembering its oneness with spirit. So know that and practice that and then decide you're going to say something to yourself when you catch your thoughts. If you're stressing, if you're um, buying into the mental chatter and you catch it, then just say, stop. This is what I do. Sometimes I tell people I put a finger out. I say, knock it off. Um, I keep a mirror here at my desk. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, see right here, this little mirror. It used to be my dad's. And when he died, I this is one of the only things I took with me. Um, sometimes I can just come to the mirror here and say, knock it off, kid. No. And we have to be willing to practice, you guys. It's not going to get better if we just sit there idle and let the thoughts challenge us. Does that make sense? If we let the thoughts just keep bombarding us and stressing us out, we're only going to make more. Do you remember the movie Gremlins where they talk about um, don't feed them, don't water them, don't feed them after midnight? Was that the thing? Because they made more and the gremlins that they made were not the happy, go lucky, peaceful, happy gremlins. And that's exactly what happens in our mind. We just make more and more and more. So what are you going to do the next time you have a negative thought? You're going to say, it's only a thought. Maybe you can say, stop it, knock it off. Hey, hey, I'm putting you on notice. And then you can say, it's only a thought and a thought can be changed. So this is the interactive part of our video today. I'd love you to try a little practice with me. Would you be willing? So wherever you are right now, we can just tune in to our high heart right around here, the energy here and connect a little more deeply with our inner being, our inner knowing, our inner light, um, however you want to call that, the, the God in you or the Christ self, the Christ consciousness that's alive in you. However, your way is the right way. It's not the Robin way, it's your way. Um, let's tune in there now. So think of an example. You've probably, you know, even in the eight minutes I've been recording, you've probably judged yourself and said some negative thoughts. Um, even while we're talking here, I know it happens to me as well. I'm just practicing right along with you. So take that thought and let's just affirm it's only a thought and a thought can be changed. And if it feels right, I invite you to do this with me. Or sometimes I say, do this. I love you. I am willing to love you. I am with you. And I want you to wake up. You say this to yourself. I want you to wake up. I want you to step out of your negative thoughts and step out of believing this is all you are, is the story you're telling. It's not true. You are loved, you matter, and you're beautiful. You're light and you're shining and sparkling. And I want you to know that I am willing to make you happy. What can I do to make you happy? You can ask yourself that, you know. And if you're, if you're only thinking only weirdos do that, what can I tell you? You're going to be continuing to suffer along with your thoughts. Um, the Course in Miracles teaches that we are infinite beings capable of everything sparkling, shining. You know, we are mighty. We are powerful beyond measure. But if we constantly tune to the small-minded voice, we are going to suffer. So my friend, 
I tell you truly, it's not true. The stories you tell about yourself, they're not true. That you're not, you worry you're not amounting to anything or you worry you're going to be alone forever or you worry you're never going to have meaningful work or meaningful friendships or just the body stuff, you know, you're old, you're fat, you're ugly, I don't know what, you have flabby arms. We got to stop it. We are so much more. And every time we choose to go with those thoughts, in a way, it's like we're turning the love away. And we don't mean to do that, do we? We don't mean to say, forget it. I'm not interested in love or feeling good or being healed. I just want to stick with my poopy thoughts and stay in this dark disco and just keep spinning. <laughs> I don't think any of us really means that. So, beloved, may this serve you today. I really hope it does. Um, you're doing a beautiful job. Stick with me. If you, if you love these videos, make sure you subscribe. And I'd appreciate if you hit the like button. And check out my podcast, Tea with Robin. I've got a bunch of really awesome episodes that talk more about this in depth. So, may this serve you today. You are so loved and so cherished. And let's practice with our thoughts, okay? Keep that finger at the ready. No, just keep telling yourself. And don't be afraid to look in the mirror and say to yourself, I'm willing to love you. And how can I make you happy today? This has been me, Robin. I'll see you on the next video. And in the meantime, I'm sending love and a hug and wishing you all the very best. There are links below where you can connect with me further and have a blessed day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.